You know, this trip started out like all my other trips. Excited to get out again in the backcountry, anticipating some relaxation at camp in a beautiful setting, with expectations about how I thought the trip would go. I aired down to 8 PSI and I was on my way. Little did I know the adventure that was in store for me. I am uh, back at it. I am in uh, Lassen National Forest, not far from where I camped last time. But we got a lot more snow uh, in just the last week, a lot more snow. And I am way, way back here. And I am in some deep snow, like I'm in feet of snow. Um, I'm, in, I'm driving on at least three feet of snow. And, uh, and I gotta tell you that um, I'm, actually, I'm actually a little nervous. Um, I am uh, way, way back in here, and the snow is real deep. So uh, we're gonna see if we can't get into our campsite, uh, but it it has been quite a challenge. Um, I've got a spot um, that I found in the fall, no snow, and I thought it'd be great to camp in here in the snow, and now I'm questioning my decision, but it's gonna be okay, we're gonna do great, it's gonna be good. Are we? This is where things went sideways on me, literally. I don't know if you can see it clearly in the back window, but the GX suddenly slid sideways off the road as I was backing up. All right, as you can see, uh, I've slid off the road and uh, actually I backed off the road. Um, the road kind of came to this hump uh, where the snow had kind of built up and I actually stopped to talk to the camera. And when I tried to go forward again, I started to slide. So I backed up and I slid some more. So I've actually backed off uh, into the, the side of the road here to try to actually get repositioned. That may have been a mistake, I'm not quite sure, but um, we're gonna see if we can't get unstuck. The problem is there's a tree right on the, on the other side of my rig. So obviously I don't wanna slide into that, but thankfully my back rear tire is actually on dry ground. It's soft, but it's dry ground. So we're gonna try to get uh, turned around and see if we can't get ourselves out of the situation and back uh, on the trail to get this camp spot. Okay, I managed to get myself out of the situation next to the tree by kind of backing up a little bit. And then I've, what I've done is I've, I've creeped down off of the road into a clearing. And so what I'm gonna try to do now is I'm actually gonna try to back over this berm, over the road and back down onto the other side of the road because it's actually clearer over there. And I think I will be able to actually avoid this huge snow berm in the road, the snow drift, by going around it off of the road and then come getting back on the road. That is that is a theory. We'll see if it actually holds true or not. I'm actually gonna use my traction boards on either side of this opening to, uh, to use as guides so I don't back into any trees. I'm gonna try just blow over this road quickly and I don't want to hit any trees. So these are, they stick out, they're blue. I can see them really easy in my mirrors.
okay, so despite what it looks like, I feel better off than I was before. So let's see if we can get this baby all the way up the road. Okay, this is good. I just have to be careful because there's a tree about two feet uh, behind me here on my left that, and the ground is sloping. So I don't want to slide into that tree. All right, so I'm right next to this tree. I don't need the traction boards for traction. Like I can move around, but this snow, once it gets packed is super slick. Like I said, we got a tree right here and I don't want to slide into it and do body damage. So we got the traction boards behind to just give me a, a steady solid surface to continue to back up on without sliding to the right or the left. All right, so this is exactly what I want. We're exactly where we want to be. My back is past the tree, and now we're gonna put the traction boards right here into the front tires to guide them past the tree as well. But I'm headed in the right direction behind me. It's exactly where I want to go. I'm very happy. I was a little bit nervous there for a second. I'm not gonna lie, but I'm doing good now. Okay, uh, we are, I, I wouldn't say I'm totally extracted, but I'm sitting pretty. I don't have any obstacles around me. I'm not off center or off camber and I'm unstuck. So we're gonna see if we can't get back onto the road. The campsite that I've got, that I'm aiming for my map is right around the corner. So we are so close. Well, you guys, I am officially unstuck back on the road and the campsite's right around the corner. I gotta tell you, I'm so impressed with this GX. She is heavy. Soccer mom is heavy. This is a heavy beast. So when I get off like that, all that weight's wanting to throw me off to the side. But this, this girl knows how to wheel. And I am so pleased with how she did in this whole mess of a situation just now. So onto the campsite. All right, so uh, we are here, we've arrived, and this is a beautiful spot. I'm excited to be here, but I need some firewood and it's dark. And the problem is, is that there's been a lot of um, wildfire fuel reduction uh, mitigation that's happened in this area. So there's like nothing on the ground, no low lying stuff. I mean, they have come through and done a great job at clearing anything that I could use for campfire wood. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unload all of my gear on a tarp and then I'm gonna drive back out through uh, the woods and see if I can't find uh, some downed wood somewhere that I can get because I didn't bring any wood. I brought three pieces of wood, really dry wood that I could chop up for some kindling, some large kindling to get my fire started tonight and tomorrow. But I didn't bring anything else because I figured oh, I'll find tons of wood under trees. Well, it's all been cleared. So I'm, I'm a little concerned, a little concerned, but I'm gonna be okay. I'm gonna be okay. If I have to hang out in the tent with a buddy heater tonight, I can do that. So I'm gonna find some firewood and then I'll be back to set up camp. All right, so I've just been driving through the woods in the middle of the night. There's no, I'm just driving through the forest. The snow here is about a foot deep. So I'm just kind of hanging out under the trees. 
And I'm looking for this. I'm looking for anything sticking up out of the snow that could be dry. All right, guys. Well, we are back at camp. Uh, we have some wood in the back of the GX. It's pretty wet. But if we can get the dry stuff get real hot, we can put the, uh, the wetter stuff around it and I think it's gonna do fine. So the first step is we're gonna get the kitchen set up and I'm gonna get some hot water going for a mystery dinner tonight, just like last time. And then uh, we will get a fire started and then we'll set up the tent and get my bed situation uh, all taken care of. All right guys, kitchen is set up just like last time. Simple, single burner, pot, water and we have some mystery food and we have some sourdough bread i did not make this sourdough bread but it's from a local bread shop in town uh and it's amazing so we are gonna do the same thing like last time i'm gonna uh put the food in the pot pour some water almost up to the top light it cover it and let it go now this is where this idea really really shines so it is 928. I just got done uh, pulling some stuff out of the back, the wood that I collected, got the kitchen set up, and I do not want to cook tonight, right? I still have to get a fire going and get the gazelle set up. So the last thing I want to do is try to cook. So the beauty of this meal is it's frozen. All I got to do is put it in this pot and heat it up, and I can work while my dinner is cooking. I don't have to do anything. And on a night like this, that is the perfect type of dinner situation for me. Well, guys, I'm not gonna lie. Things uh, did not exactly go according to plan today. Uh, had a great day, uh, but I'll be honest. There were a few times wheeling in here that I thought I might, I thought I might need to call for help. There were just some times where all of a sudden I'd be cruising and then the snow got really soft and I would just drop just right down to the frame. Didn't spin my tires. Was able to get out. Obviously. Uh, going off the side of the road and having to back over the road and drive that that was a an ordeal not having any firewood uh, and and processing firewood in the middle of the night and then setting up this little awning this little tarp awning it's a cheap man's awning it's a tarp and some poles from sportsman warehouse and some some guy wires the fire already burned through one of my guy my my ropes so that was that was real fun and then getting um, my stakes to bite um, in the snow and the ice is, is a challenge. I had to dig down pretty far. And anyway, so it has been a night and I'm just sitting down to eat and it is 11 o'clock. Uh, <laughs> so I'm tired and I'm hungry and uh, hmm, some kind of chicken broccoli casserole, really good. I, uh, I'm ready to just chill. The gazelle is set up. All my gear is inside, but my bed's not set up yet, but it's gonna be super easy. So I'm gonna stay here for a bit and just relax by the fire and then close all this down at some point. Head into the tent, set up my bed and go to bed. It's been a good day. Some incredible snow wheeling. But when you're by yourself, you take a risk, you know? There's a huge risk when you're by yourself. And I was really feeling that today, but I was really determined to get in here. And I did in the spot, you know, we saw it at dusk right when I got in. I'm really excited to see this little flat seasonal pond lake thing in the morning. It's gonna be gorgeous. So, cheers.
it was a good day. Um, it's nice to sit here by the fire. I'm so thankful my wet firewood is burning. It's been uh, lightly snowing a little bit on and off. Even though I can see the moon, uh, there's breaks in the clouds that there's still a little bit of snow coming down. It's quiet. Every once in a while, there's some kind of night bird I can hear. It's great to be out here. Well, good morning, guys. Uh, uh, I slept okay. Um, not amazing, but, but okay. Um, I, I, I kept just thinking about, um, getting stuck on the way out <laughs> and, uh, that kind of, uh, occupied some of my mind, which, um, I would wake up and kind of think about that. And at one point I was thinking, I'm just going to wake up. I'm just going to get up and go. I was a little bit concerned that if, if the temperature was too warm, then I, I really want that snow to firm up so that when I drive out, um, there's a lot more traction. And uh, I was a little bit concerned that it wasn't going to get very cold. The snow was going to be super soft. And as I was, because there's some uphills that I need to make make it up. And so I would wake up and I'd be thinking about that. And there's no worries because the low was 17 last night. So the snow and it's 20, 20, 25 right now. So uh, no worries about the snow firming up. Um, it's uh, going to be nice and crusty and hard. Um, and that'll, that'll be good for getting out of here. So I feel really good. Um, I'm going to get out of my pajamas and get out uh, and get some coffee and and a fire started and enjoy this spot for a little bit longer and then pack up and get out of here. All right, dressed, bedding is rolled up. I think it's time for the morning reveal. That is amazing.
All right, well, we are packed up and uh, and ready to go. I'm, I'm sad to leave this place. I didn't get to sit and enjoy it as much as I would have liked uh, due to the <laughs> extremely fun circumstances getting here and, and just feeling a little bit nervous about getting out. Um, but uh, great place. I'm excited to come back here, maybe in the snow, but for sure in the spring and in the, in the summer. But it's time to get home. All right, I'm back at the spot that I got uh, really hung up in uh, and got off sideways off the road yesterday. So I have a decision to make. Um, I can either try to straddle the road and not slip off where I did yesterday, or I can um, head off of the road and around like I did. The problem is, is that the approach back onto the road is a bit sketch. Um, it's gonna be at a weird angle. The snow is really nice today. A lot of traction. My old tracks provide plenty of, um, of traction and I'm not sinking at all. But there is a section um, when I went around that it that is fresh virgin snow and I haven't driven on it. So I think I'm gonna opt for straddling the, 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 the sort of crest or the, the hump of the road and, and try not to slip off like I did yesterday and we will see what happens. All right, um, exactly what I was concerned about is happening. I keep slipping either to the left or the right on the crest of this hill. And um, maybe it's a little bit of PTSD from yesterday. Um, and so if, if I was coming here through the first time, I, maybe I would keep pushing it, but uh, I just don't want to. So I'm gonna try the alternate route. I'm gonna try where I went around yesterday and punch up onto the road. Let's get it done. All right, we did it. Uh, I, I feel so much better getting past this spot and uh, really don't have any concerns about anything uh, coming up. So, um, Lord willing, uh, we're gonna get up there and be airing up in no time. Well, we are aired up and ready to head back home. It's been a great trip, full of the unexpected, and that's what makes a really great adventure. Thanks for watching. Catch you next time.